Hey guys, this is Keith with KJA Aquatics. Um, just got another plant order in today, and I'm going to show it to you as I see it. So with that, try to be a little quick about it. Um, let's get started. Always get good stuff. I had this come in via Southwest today. Um, I get it faster. And actually, when you do the bigger box sizes. Southwest Airlines many times the post office UPS FedEx on price for shipping um, this size box here it's pretty good size I don't know the actual dimensions um, I can measure them out shoot me a message if interested but <clears throat> this box here shipped Southwest I mean it, it was uh, pretty much overnight that box shipped for less than $60. That's pretty cheap. You're not going to get um, this box size shipped by the post office, UPS, or FedEx shipped that size, uh, for that price. Alright, enough of that. We'll go ahead and get started. Packing list. We'll look at it later. Show you some of the stuff I got. Ooh, these are nice. Crinum Calamistratum. I knew they were gonna be this big, I would have ordered more of them. Very, very nice plant. Crinum, Calamistratum, this is actually one of my favorite plants. Kinda looks like a little octopus. These are two nice, nice sizes. Crinum, Calamistratum. All right. Uh, what else we got? Jungle valves. Valisinaria are always, always popular. Jungle valves are one of the valves that get very large. These will, I've seen some that came out of a hobbyist tank that were six foot long, believe it or not. Um, very easy plant, medium to low light. I say medium light, but these grow pretty fast, grow tall. Jungle Vallison area. All right. Uh, what else we got? Some of these plants are special ordered for a couple customers, um, but but the majority of them are available to anyone who sends me an order. Cryptocurine Spiralis. These are some really nice larger crypts. These will get tall. Um, low light Crypt Spiralis Okay Alrighty Let's move along to the next one Crypt Red Wenty Clumps Very easy plant These are uh, Cryptocrine Wenti Species This is the red variant Though they're actually not red the stems are a brownish color and the leaves get like a bronze color, reddish tint. Um, so if you want a low tech plant that has a little bit more color than just your, your plain green, even though green's beautiful, this is one to go with. Crypt, Wenty, Red, and the Clumps. All right. This box is actually fuller than, than I thought. These special order, but I will have a few available. These are a terrarium plant. So not a true aquatic terrarium plant. I ordered these um, for a customer. This is purple waffle, and it's actually purple. You could actually see it the bottom side of the leaf. Beautiful, metallic looking plant. They look almost fake. Again, not a true aquatic uh, terrarium plant. Um, very beautiful purple wall said many of these are spoken for but I do have some available if interested uh, these are special ordered for a customer but I'll show them to you these are already spoken for um, they just a bare root Anubius barteri small species um, 
Nobius Barterai. Again, I just ordered six of these in. Um, special order for a customer. What else I got? Crypt Cryptocrine Loosen Clumps. This is another low-tech, easy plant. I sell quite a few of these. Um, Crypt Loosens. Easy, low to medium light plant. Um, smaller tanks, they can go mid-ground, background. Larger tanks, they can go foreground, mid-ground. Crypt Loosens. Okay. There's another Crypt. To me, this one doesn't actually fit the mold of a Crypt, but it is a Crypt to cream. has more of a lily type leaf. Cryptocrine Pontidifolia, if I say it right. I have no problem with people correcting my uh, my Latin pronunciation because I blow it up. I'm terrible at it. Cryptocrine Pontidifolia, again, a low to medium light plant, as are all crypts. I have plenty of these in stock, nice size. Okay. What else we got? Ah, Cryptocrine Antulata. Many of these are spoken for. Um, I had special order for these, but it, this is a very beautiful crypt. Looks similar to the Wentai. Has a purplish um, colored stem. Cryptocrine Antulata. It's okay. so a low to medium light. Many of these are spoken for, but I do have some available already in stock. All right. Very nice plants on this one. Pretty. As are all my plants, but these are some really nice looking plants. Cryptocrine Buketti. Another Wenty type looking plant, but with different color. Looks very similar to the Undulata. They'll have a, a bronze, purplish colored. Um, trying to get one. The underside of the of the leaf is a bronze, bronze, sorry, um, purplish looking color. Cryptocrine Buketti. Okay. <clears throat> Cryptocrine Wentai Green. All right, these are like the red, but the leaves are green. Cryptwenty are probably one of the most, uh, probably one of the most common, but the reason for that, they're one of the most popular um, crypts. Um, and we do sell a lot of them. Very easy plant. Good looking plant in the aquarium. Crypt. Went die green. What else I got here? Oh, they bagged this wrong. Or I put the wrong label, I'm sorry. This is red root floaters. I know it's not. This is actually guppy grass. Alright. I breed a lot of wild type live bearers. Um, guppy grass is very valuable when when if you breed fish. Um, especially live bearers. This offers very good cover for the fry. Um, stuff pretty much grows itself. You don't even need to do it. You throw it in the tank, it floats around. Um, fertilizer requirements, fish poop. Pretty much a light and fish poop. You could add a little thrive. Um, don't add too much, but Add a little thrive and it'll explode. That grows really, really fast. <clears throat> Dwarf Sagittaria, small bunches. This is an immersed form. They actually put them in your tank. Um, let me show you a better one. These are actually taller when they're when they're grown immersed. They're taller um, than the submerged form, but they convert very easy. Um, Super easy plant. Sagittarius, uh, low light, 
easy, easy plant. You can use these for um, foreground plant um, in a very small tank, five gallons or even some small beta tanks. Um, you use a mid-ground, um, really not, not background, but mid-ground in a really small tank, five gallon and smaller, um, 10 gallon and bigger, um, foreground plant, easy, easy plant. I sell a lot of these. Um, Java ferns in on a mat. The last time I got these in, they sold right away. So if you want some, jump on them. Java ferns, just your, your standard Java fern, but on a mat. Very nice full mats. Forget how many I got in stock. I only got five. Um, nice Java fern mats. I don't get a lot of these. These are, they cost me more obviously. They take up a lot of room so I don't fill my tanks with them. I usually order four or five at a time and they always sell out pretty quick. I get $14 for these mats um, and that's a pretty good price. Um, if you compare the, the plants that I sell, apples to apples, I'm very competitive, I can tell you that. Might not always be the cheapest, but <clears throat> The, the cheapest price, I can tell you, isn't always the best price either. There's some out there that are cutthroat, which, which is okay. Um, don't bother me, none. Okay, what we got? Corkscrew valves. Again, another valve scenario. These stay on the shorter side, but you get a pretty cool looking spiral um, leaf off of these. Corkscrew valve scenario. Another low to medium light plant. These grow pretty fast. They'll spread out, shooting runners out. Um, I sell these pretty good. I only got a dozen in, but I also have some more in stock already. So I'm just reloading some of these. They're not new to my inventory. They're just reloading some of my stock. All right, here's the, this one's labeled cubby grass. So they were just putting labels on the wrong bag. These are actually red root floaters. Very popular. Um, you see the, I don't know if you can see the, the purplish looking roots. Um, these red root floaters. These grow on the surface, obviously. The lily type leaf. Um, need good light. Not so much like expensive light, but you need higher light and with good light and good nutrients, you'll get little small white flowers blooming off of these at times. It's a very beautiful plant. Popular for beta tanks or anything where you want some surface cover. Much nicer looking to me than Salvinia. Much nicer looking, obviously, than duckweed. Um, all right, we're getting close to Close to the end of the bottom of the box, these are some small Anubias, just mixed species that I brought in. Just got eight of these. Um, some of these I know what they are. That's Apizelli. I think that's Congenzis. This one's either Congenzis, I'm actually not sure. Congenzis or Nanji. But anyways, Anubias varieties. Um, I sell them as assorted. All right. Anubius hastafolia. These, these were special ordered for, for a customer. Just a small variant, Anubius hastafolia. So these won't go on my list. They were ordered special in. All right. And Last but not least, these will grow out for me fast. Upon again, getting ovaceous, I'm already seeing some sprouts there. So as soon as I put this in the water, I bet less than a week, I'll have a six inch plant. Um, if you buy them quick, I sell them cheaper actually as a bulb. Um, but once I get some decent um, growth out of them, obviously the price goes up a little bit. Um, 
these will get really big in the 55 gallon tank they'll grow they'll fill not fill the tank but they'll go from top to bottom they'll you know grow i don't know 18 20 inches um if they have a nice flower that shoots out the top that'll break the surface excuse me um and you know, flower as, as far as all the ponegans, the ovaceous, the Madagascar lace, um, another one I screw up the pronunciation, the bovianus. Um, they're all similar. Um, anyways, with that, that's what I got in. I'll update my list on my Facebook page. You find my Facebook page at KJE Aquatics. Um, the pin towards the top is where I keep the plant list. But uh, <clears throat> along with plants, we also sell. Um, Fish room essentials. So we got fish food. We got water conditioners from Fritz. We have fertilizers from Thrive and Tropica. Um, sponge filters, um, air hose, you name it, we got it. Um, so just ask me if you're looking for something. It's pretty much a one-stop shop. We also um, breed our own fish. Um, you're not gonna find a lot of the more common fish here that you would at a local fish store. Um, I do several fish that are on the cares list meaning they're um, either extinct or critically endangered in the wild so i do a lot of good dads. Um, some other species of live bears would include different uh, i have four different species of lemia um, i have four different species of endlers i have three different species of the pseudocrinellibus uh, Dwarf mouth brooders, very cool um, cichlid, bushy nose plecos, different color variants of those. I'm trying to think just off the top of my head what else I got. Uh, American flagfish, awesome for eating uh, hair algae. Um, not as aggressive as what you might read on, on the internet. Very, very uh, cool fish, especially for, for a planted tank. Um, they, they earn their keep by um, nibbling on algae and they look really cool too like a lot of the native fish kind of why i do wild type live rares too i like that natural look non-gmo um i'm not into all the the man-made flashy colors anyways with that i rambled on enough um i'll see you guys next time <laughs>